Hi everyone, I'm Kame the Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Now, today's topic is actually part two of my how to make a persona video. And today's camera woman is my sister, Raposa the Fox. Hello. Hey guys, I'm a Dingus. I forgot to mention that uh, part one of how to make a persona is listed in the description below. All right, back to Path Kami. All right. Part one on it for those who have no artistic talent. Believe me. While part two will focus on how the creativity portion. So those who can create or want to commission an artist is, is able to. First thing we need to cover is actually that there's many aspects to cover. I know, kind of redundant, right? Anyway, first is what do you want your species to be? Hey, there are several forms for this. This could be a real animal like you can find at the zoo or pet store. It could be a hybrid between two or more animal species. For example, a fox and a wolf make a wolf. Or a potato, depending on who you're asking. That's the only reference right there, folks. It can be one of the dozens upon hundreds of original species being made in this fandom. Original species is a whole topic I can cover by itself and will be doing in another video. That being said, if you have an original species you would like to see covered, put in the comments below. It could be from a famous media source, like Pokemon for example. Heck, it doesn't even have to be a real animal or animal-like in nature. It could be an item, like shown here. Alright, now that you know what your species be, how about gender? Her thumb thumb in the original species category is while well, you're stuck doing one or the other no matter how you work it. Because that's how it's done. But hey, for those of us for those species that don't require you to pick only male or female, you can choose to be female, male, or a gender. I don't care. It just represent you. If you are a dude and you want to be a female character, go ahead, do it. Alright. Now there have you have to decide on your gender and race. How about how you look in general? So there are three main ways to look. Humanoid or anthro such as Bugs Bunny. What's up that? Really? for that to get fish. No! It could be feral. Well, such as Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo-Doo! Why did I lose my fish? Why? Really? <laughs> you asked for it back. Should I give it to her, folks? Put in the comments below. cannot decide between animal and anthro, there's the best of both worlds, the Tor character. Tors are based upon the based upon the centaur of Greek mythology, with the upper body of a humanoid and the lower body of the animal. Typically where the animal's head would be located is where the human torso comes in. Alright. Now that you have decided your race, gender, and how you generally look, time for colors and patterns. Typically speaking, you can do any color palette and pattern you want. If you're doing a, you know, a character based upon a famous media source, try to change it up. 
uh, from how it really looks like in the th media. For example, Pikachu changed the stripes on his back uh, to a bunch of polka dots or star patterns, like it's using Swift and got stuck there. I know that's a terrible example, but hey, it's an example. Uh, another thing to note with colors and patterns, depending on how many colors and patterns you throw into your character, you may not be able to find a whole lot of artists or suit makers willing to tackle your character. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit fun with that. Especially with sparkle dogs. <laughs> Those are crazy. Clothes and accessories. These are optional, really. A lot of us just have our characters go all natural, all, or have their natural fur, hers, slash scales, slash whatever they're made of, uh, cover their non bits. And that being said, you can have those exposed, but please make sure you only show those to people of legal age. And if you're under the age limit, please do not, not tell an artist that you're of appropriate age just to get commissioned, as the artist himself may get in trouble for it. That being said, and for clothes and accessories, if you have, if you like a certain brand but can never afford it in real life, you can have your character or style it for you. So, so that Gucci handbag that you've been dying to get, you can have your or line it, for example, no tote that around. That means that she's actually able to. Anyways, off topic. All right. Okay, so we have a basic idea of what we want. And we have the outside of your character completely done. Now, how about the personality? A lot of us will take our personality as a whole or part and just shove it into the character. We might take aspects that we like about ourselves and put in the character to amplify it, or aspects we don't like, like anger issues. It's kind of funny to see a sheep character with anger issues. Don't you think? <laughs> or how about a lion? And who's a kind soul who wouldn't hurt a fly? Those are personality traits that you can put into a character. Then again, you might just choose who's a personality trait and choose a species that amplifies it. Some people will make a character based around a song. If a song makes you feel sad, uh, you might make it a whole new Eeyore. We all know who Eeyore is, but if you do not know, I truly pity you. If you make it, if a song you are listening to make you feel bouncy, you might make a happy-go-lucky character. And this all depends upon you and how the music makes you feel. All the characters are to represent who you are, or how you want others to be. Or generally, they make a cool looking character and hope it sells where I sell for a decent amount of money. <laughs> I'm not sure about seeing that one in the video. Oh. Nah, I'll keep it. Alright folks, that's the end of this video. If you think I missed anything, or want to touch upon more subjects? Well, you know what I'm going to say. Put it in the comments below. All right. If you like what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that bell for notifications for when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny.